Sai. Sai. Guys, I read an article. Not a, I didn't even read an article. I saw a tweet. I'm so tired. I am so tired. Wow. It said, let me just read the caption. And then we're just going to react to it. Yes, I'm in a little bit of disbelief. That's why I'm acting like this. I'm very just, I'm at the end of the world with the Laker haters. I'm not even gonna say Clipper fans anymore because at this point, it's just people, the hypocrisy. You know, and it's saddening to me. I, I hate to see this from you guys. It's a new low and I didn't think we would be able to reach a new low. Let me just read this quote to you and then we're gonna react to this despicable video. I haven't seen it. It says, this is from Skip Bayless. <gasps> That's the magic move. Rondo to the Clippers would be the difference next basketball season. Wow. That would make the Clippers the champion and the Lakers some runner back. <sighs> There's nothing more to say, but let's just react to it. I mean, honestly. And you guys, please let me know what you think in the comments. You know, Mr. Sharp, there are some things in the world of sports that the moment you hear them, you do say, bingo. That's it. That's the magic move. Rondo to the Clippers would be the difference next basketball season. That would make the Clippers the champion and the Lakers some runner-up. Western Conference runner-up. <laughs> yes, it would. Okay. This <laughs> Shannon, sharp laughing. That is such a mood. I'm so tired. I can't even laugh. Ugh, I'm so tired of it. The hating. I'm so tired of it. Listen to Shannon Sharp just laughing at this. It's laughable. Dang it. Dang up. To Western Conference runner up. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> okay. This said, is okay. the move that would make so much sense for Rajon Rondo because it would be a legacy move. I'm not going to go all the way Deion Sanders here, but you, you remember very well what Deion did <laughs> for the San Francisco. I don't know what that. <laughs> what? Sanders did. Sanders Manders. Can, Flanders. Can we talk about basketball? A legacy move. Isn't he the only player to win with the, the Lakers and Celtics? That's the only legacy move there is. Clippers have no legacy to even move. <gasps> Zero rings. There's no legacy to chase. No legacy. It's not even a real rivalry. Like, it's funny. Like, it's a little petty rivalry, little brother type thing. But it's not like that. Lakers and Celtics is like that. Legacy mode. I did <laughs> for the San Francisco 49ers when, when he helped Steve Young get, as everybody was writing at that point, the proverbial monkey off his back as he broke through and finally won his one and only Super Bowl. Right. And then he said, up. Oh, Jerry wants me? Jerry's going to pay me all that money? <laughs> I think I'll become a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah. And he went and helped of all college coaches, Barry Switzer, win his one and only Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And it was a legacy move because the world sat back and said, Dion did that, and then he did that. They already did that. Celtics, Lakers. Legacy move done. So this whole point right here, null and void. You see how quick we had just crumbled up his point and threw it away. It was so easy for me. That was so easy. It took me two, all of two seconds to just make that whole argument. You went to a whole nother sport to try to validate what you're saying and I just totally dismantled that in about two seconds. Wow! A very sad, a very exposing and very telling. Right, okay. I'm not saying Rondo is quite Dion. But he's up in there somewhere because I'm just not sure your guys would have won this championship without Rajon Rondo. Funny, funny story. <laughs> A lot of people were making fun of us, you know, forgetting Rondo. 
honestly, we were even we were even talking down on Rondo during the regular season. He was the worst player efficiency wise. Um, I can think back to a video where I did a debate with a certain someone. Shout out to AM Hoops. He was talking about Rondo, Rondo a liability. <gasps> and I agreed at the time. I mean, I was like, well, he's going to be injured for the first round, but when he comes back, he'll help us. That was my point. He was like, but he's the worst, this, 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 and you have to rely on a Alex Caruso. It's like all these points that y'all were throwing at me and, and all Laker fans, and now he's the savior. He's the key. Right, but remember when we were getting clowned for not being able to get Reggie Jackson, the point guard that you got. So what happened to Reggie Jackson? I thought he was the, the key. The key to the city, LA your way. The corporate clippers. Oh. Right? So somebody's lying, somebody's falling apart, and I'm gonna keep it calm and quiet because I'm a little concerned because I'm just confused on what more can we do. Right now we're grasping at straws. I'm just dismantling every argument as they come. So easy for me, it comes naturally. I probably did this in the womb, truth be told. Hate to do it. So, he was your third most valuable player, but in fourth quarter- And nobody saw that coming, especially not um, you. Orders, he was- The shirt and the little, the handkerchief didn't see it coming either. Neither did he in the corner. He was so shocked. Look at him. <gasps> you didn't see it coming. Y'all were clowning us. That was a liability coming into the... He was often the most valuable player because he led your team in the playoffs in fourth quarter assists. Mm -hmm. He constantly set up your offense and as he is so gifted do. at doing, he got the ball to the right place at the right time. To the is that not just describing the job of a point guard? Or am I tripping? He's acting like this is some godly play. Like, that's just what point guards are supposed to do. You're just describing a point guard. Skip. I'm about to skip the rest of this video. Skip. The right player. Right. It might be LeBron. It might be AD. It might be Kuzma, who did lead your team in fourth quarter three-point shots made. Mm -hmm. But guess who was second in threes made in the fourth quarter through the playoffs? Rondo. <laughs> yeah. As they call him, playoff Rondo. And we still won with that. That's crazy, right? Wow! What's your point? Like, you're sitting here making no point in your shirt and the sharp, snappy, snazzy, jazz band, garage band suit isn't making points to me. Am I tripping ghost or is it just me? The bats are flying away as you speak. Oh, no. no! I swear to you, obviously I was rooting against your team. Every time the ball left his hands, I said, that's good. Because his body language is lying. He's lying. These people did not advocate for Rondo before. I please somebody go find a clip of him talking about Rondo before. Let's see if he had a glowing review of him. Now it's convenient. Now everybody wants Rondo and come on. You know what I mean? We were getting clowned for missing out on Darren Collison, Derek Rose. I remember that. Derek Rose. Um Reggie Jackson. Now Rondo is the missing link. Told me that's good. Yep. Did he not shoot it with authority and conviction? What was that game? Game three and game six. He was oh, unbelievable. Lord have mercy. Shannon, it's why aren't you shutting him down? Shannon, see this? I couldn't be on these shows. I mean, it's just too many facts with me. You're not sliding with me. These little first and three-pointer made. I don't care about the stats you're throwing me. Let's talk about the real nitty-gritty. Y'all love that y'all analytics and box score watchers love to just throw numbers out into the conversation. I'm sorry that doesn't change it. Just doesn't change the truth. <laughs> I'm the one that sees the truth, okay? I don't play those games, but anyway. As soon as it left his hand, I said, that's nothing but bottom of net. And Game four. Mike. Yeah, yeah, and you don't think of him as a knockdown shooter. No. But he made 40% of his threes that felt like 75% of his threes through the playoff yeah. run. Who cares? What are you, what's Remember your point? Remember the Nuggets, though, series, where he was spectacular shooting the ball from outside. Just spectacular. What are you guys talking about? So, like, what is this? my point is that okay. what's your point? When, when you have a guy like that, he suddenly, at age 34, has an opportunity to go to your arch rival that shares your building, that lives in the basement of Staples Center, mm -hmm. And he I thought 
thought was your favorite team. <gasps> I thought that was your favorite team, so you turn it on him? He's just against the grain enough to have no real loyalty to the Lakers. Not, not that he hates the Lakers, but he's his own man. He like Bron. Because remember what he said, Skip? He said he was always thinking, he was sitting back there thinking, saying, you know, if I have a team with a guy like Ron. Mm. Now, he didn't say if I team with a guy like Kawhi. Mm. He never said if I team with a guy like Paul George. Well, maybe he'll he, say that now. Whoa, whoa. He said if I could team would with a guy. But why would he just switch? It's not adding up. These are the people y'all be paying. He's making bank to say this. <laughs> it's got to be my time to blow up, man. I'm just waiting on the call. <laughs> it can't make this up. He, there's a whole set around him getting paid to say he's going to leave the Lakers for the Clippers because I mean I'm not going to rule it out like it's just impossible I'm just saying he's saying this with such conviction you know I'm sorry anything can happen Skip so I'm not going to just down you my brother but goodness gracious brother come on pal you're uh, shaky pal Oh. You're shaky, pal. I like Ron. You know, I'm talking about from the mental aspect. Of it. Yeah. Remember Rondo's quote after game two against the Nuggets, which ended with AD making. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. I don't trust Rondo either. So, like a prophet, listen, he, 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 you know, I'm not going to. That's the only reason I didn't entirely rule him out. It's just because he is a Celtic at the end of the day. I'm sorry. People, oh, he's a Laker. He's a Celtic at the end of the day. Oh. So, you know, anything can happen. So if you predicted this, you're the GOAT, Skip, but anything can happen. <gasps> I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to put y'all on radar, but it's just not in me to fully trust. You know, he could resign tomorrow, uh, yay, 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 but like a prophet, you know. Uh, three and yelling, Kobe! Yeah. Rondo said after the game, play was called for LeBron. I locked eyes with LeBron and he did not move. Yeah, that was the quote. He did not move. Yeah. LeBron was locked up. He was froze. Yeah, he, he was one for six from the floor in the fourth quarter and Rondo said, uh, I got to get it to AD. <laughs> so that one play is why he's going to go to the Clippers. Because LeBron was locked up in the fourth quarter of the second game of the last. All right. Well, um, I think that's about it. I think we can just wrap it up. Um, that was pretty unbelievable, to say the least. I think um, we've seen enough here. Um, <sighs> Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Did you agree or... Is it just me? Is it also a little shaky and fishy that they're all loving Rondo now? This fake love. I know Drake wrote the song Fake Love a couple summers ago. Is this a throwback to Drake? Fake love. Where is this coming from? Just want to know. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Also comment down below what else y'all want me to talk about. Oh, and also congrats to the Dodgers. Come on now. I'm going to do a video about that on Sunday. So, you know, I won't say too much, but you already know. Come on now. We're just superior in every way, shape, or form. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.